One of the longest running television advertising campaigns we've seen in this country plays out its final chapter next week when the last instalment of Ira Goldstein hits our screens. Goldstein and his boss have been the stars, as you know, of the ASB Bank campaign for, what, a decade now, churning out dozens of ads, but their time is up. So how will it end for this guy? What will they do with him? Tony Reid went behind the scenes to meet the actor and find out what's going to happen. All right. We're going to keep it with you guys. Yeah. Settle in. Everybody find a place and stand still now, okay? Here we go, shooting. Roll sound. 11 take 4. We're on the set for the final time with Ira Goldstein, an American who's become a household name down under. Hi, Carrie, it's Ira. I miss beetroot on hamburgers and pineapple lumps. I miss New Zealand. This is the first scene that's shot in, in New York. I'm, uh, the character's back in New York and in his uh, lonely bedroom. Get to the point, Goldstein. Uh, well, sir, uh, in conclusion, ultimately, at the end of the day and in the final analysis... Goldstein's journey started 10 years ago during a meeting with his boss in New York where he revealed New Zealand to have the best bank in the world. Uh, well, there's this uh, bank in New Zealand. New Zealand? That seems to be different. How is this bank different? I have no idea. Well, go and find out. Yes, sir. That was then, and this is now. We're not really in New York. New York is in West Auckland. Although it's in New York that American Steve Maller landed this major role. I think I left the bats turned on. They showed up at this place, and they said, oh, they're looking for a Woody Allen type. And I thought, well, I'm not really a Woody Allen type. And I was extremely tired. And uh, so I said, well, I'm just going to do it as the way I do it. And... Uh, I got a call a week later, no, no callbacks, which is uh, what you usually do in the States. And they said, you got the job. It's like, whoa. That's so funny. Who'd have thought, you know? Goldstein, I'm coming over. Maller had never been to New Zealand before he got the part. He wasn't quite sure where New Zealand was. Now he's seen town and country while making New Zealanders laugh at themselves. The map says there should be a branch right here. It's a ranch. It's your basic rural environment. You've got your sheep, your cows, and your sheep. I think um, Goldstein has given New Zealand a real insight into our own psyche. And New Zealand was really put on the world stage. You know, Goldstein, go to New Zealand and find out what makes that bank different. So we were incredibly proud of our differences and, and our successes. And, and New Zealanders love that. Yeah. Maybe even this far. Maybe it's ring, ring. Hi, Carrie, it's Ira. One of the reasons Goldstein and his boss have had such a long shelf life is this man, Paul Middleditch. He's directed the majority of the ads, allowing last-minute changes to the character's dialogue. <coughs> he's such a creative man. He's a really, really good creative director. A lot of the gags and things that we, we came, all came on set, all came, uh, you know, they were uh, impromptu. And, and, and I think that's what gave the campaign... Uh, its essence, you know, that I think that's what uh, endeared people to it. Oh, yes, sir. Ugh. I hope this cot will be comfortable. It'll be fine. Where am I sleeping? My bed. Get some sleep, Goldstein. Tomorrow will be a busy day. Captain James Cook. And while the ASB ads only play out in New Zealand, Goldstein has a constant flock of people coming up to him all over the world. He even considers himself more famous than Elaine from Seinfeld, who he saw in the Air New Zealand lounge in L.A. People started coming up to her and saying, oh, hi, I enjoy your work. And, and people also started coming up to me at the same time and saying, I, you know, in the same period of time, saying, oh, I, you know, I enjoy your work in the ads and everything like that. So I decided to start counting. And it was only, she, she got like five people coming up to her, but I got like seven. And like Seinfeld, Goldstein has run its course. ASB has switched advertising agencies. Goldstein goes, and um, Mr. and Mrs. Brown from Danny Mora, he does have a happy ending. <laughs> Who's Mr. and Mrs. Brown? We get, we get these letters um, from Goldstein. Mr. And Mrs. Brown. Yeah, from, from Goldstein fans all around the country wanting to know what's happening to him. You know, take one. And action. So there it is, sir, Kiwis. Small fat birds with whiskers. New Zealanders, sir, the bank is full of Kiwis who make the difference. They look out for each other.
they care. Uh, okay, uh, case closed, Goldstein. Back to your office. Does Goldstein ride off into the sunset? Does he meet the woman of his dreams? You'll have to wait a week to find out. And cut, lovely. One more again. And they always say that Anne Cart lovely one more again. If it was lovely, why do they need one more again? Tony Reid with Steve Miller, a.k.a. Ira Goldstein. Up next, nearly... Yeah, hello, sir. Goldstein? It's time to come home. Your flight is booked for tonight. Case closed, Goldstein. I'm not here right now. Please leave him. Uh... Welcome to Ace B. This is Kitty. Hi, Kiri. It's Ira. I miss beet root on hamburgers and kiwi fruit. I miss New Zealand. So come home. I am home. Home is where the heart is, Mr. Goldstein, and where your enormous bagel company is. My bagel business? So, then I said, yes, I have heard of chickens. <laughs> Hi. Goldstein. Hold this. They fired me. I had nowhere else to go. Need a job? Yeah. Go to New York and find out what makes their bagels different. New Zealand, you complete me. Let's uh, lose the volcano. It's blocking the view. <laughs>